Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to Gamerjube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Larry Longneck. So we'll go into this character's location, gameplay mechanics, backstory, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a fun, cool, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Larry Longneck. So far in our FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria. We've looked at its wide range of characters and all their disturbing and tragic backstories. So far we've met Roger Rex, Ruby Raptor, Spike the Spinosaurus, Murphy the Mosasaurus, Timmy the Pterodactyl, the Compi Crew, and Tracy Triceratops. Each of these characters has attempted to attack the Night Guard, but our Night Guard character has done their best to fend them all off. But despite their best efforts, there's still one more character they have to deal with. And this new character is Larry Longneck. Larry was designed after the gentle giant, the Brontosaurus. They were given a light teal green colour scheme with bright green eyes. Their main standout feature was of course their long neck. Their neck operated similar to their arms. We have four points of articulation, it could bend in many different ways. Like most of the other Freddy Fazbear characters in the past, Larry was given the classic flat teeth. Considering the Brontosaurus was a herbivore, this made most sense to give them friendly looking flat teeth. So Larry's role at the Jolly Jurassic Kingdom was the fitness instructor at the Dino Play Gym. This was an area that was dedicated to keeping kids fit and active. Parents could also join in on the fun, but it was mainly just the kids that participated. Larry would instruct all the guests to do specific stretches and exercises. Larry's whole persona was based on him being flexible and fit. This was due to his long flexible neck and promotion of eating healthy greens. Larry even had his own special pizza on the menu. It was mainly aimed at trying to get kids to eat their veggies. But as expected, it wasn't very popular amongst all the kids. It was mainly the parents who would order this pizza. So all in all, the fitness program with Larry was considered to be a success. The fitness classes would keep the kids active and busy, and was also promoting good health. It was enough not only to keep the kids happy, but their parents as well. But unfortunately for Larry, eventually their long neck would get bent out of shape. So along with all the other animatronics, over night time Larry was also put into the free roam mode. Out of all the other characters, Larry was one of the most active. They would spend most of their time in the loading dock of the pizzeria. This is where the restaurant would receive all their orders for ingredients, frozen food, and even spare parts. Larry would tend to walk around and find anything interesting that he could use to work out with. This would include doing squats with heavy boxes, pull-ups on the forklift, and lifting the heavy roller door. They couldn't help it, it was basically in their programming. They were designed and programmed to be obsessed about fitness. Larry working out in the loading dock after hours seemed harmless, but once they had their unfortunate accident, everything would change. So one night whilst Larry was working out in the loading dock, they were doing their roller door lifts as usual. They would hoist up the heavy door and then catch it when it slowly comes back down. The roller door was far too heavy for Larry to lift all by himself. The only way he was lifting it was with the help of the roller door's chain and gears. This would assist the heavy metal door to open and close safely. But night after night with the consistent lifting and closing, the gears and chain have just about worn out. Unknown to Larry, the mechanism was about to give way. With one final hoist, Larry lifted the large metal door. As it slowly came back down, the metal chain snapped. In an instant, the metal roller door came crashing down on Larry. With great force, the roller door managed to snap off Larry's neck clean from his body. Whilst his head and neck were on the inside of the building, the rest of his body was exposed outside. Unfortunately for Larry, it began to rain outside. 
All the dirt and rain stained and withered his body. By the morning, it was one of the delivery workers who had found him. They alerted the staff and took him to the repair room immediately. Larry stood there with his head and neck on the wooden table. The repair worker managed to restore the power to both Larry's head and body. The only thing the repair worker couldn't do was attach them back together. They needed to come back another day with the right tools. In the meantime, the door leading to the loading dock was securely locked to prevent Larry from getting back in there. The only person who had access to the locked door was the night guard. So later that night, Larry picked up their own head and wandered over to the loading dock. Regardless of their condition, Larry has never missed a workout session to date. A little case of decapitation wasn't going to stop them now. As Larry reached the door, he realised it was locked shut. It seems the only way they were getting in is by getting the key. And the only person they could think of with a large set of keys was the night guard. They would need to sneak up on them whilst they were in the office and snatch the keys off their belt. Larry didn't want to harm the night guard by any means. They just wanted those keys. But that night guard is so easily frightened. Just the sight of Larry is sure to scare the living daylights out of them. So this means Larry will just have to be extra sneaky and grab those keys. So now let's get into the gameplay section of the video. As always, the gameplay mechanics are based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. So the player needs to keep an eye out for Larry and the other characters. As soon as they see Larry and their severed head walk to the door, they need to shut the door immediately. Larry's starting position would always be in the repair room. As soon as the night shift begins, Larry would be on the move. Approaching the door isn't the only tactic that Larry will do. Just like Murphy, Larry can also become two separate enemies. Whenever the player sees Larry's headless body, they would need to shut the door and then look towards the vents. Since Larry has got control of their neck and head as well, they'll sliver through the vents and try to grab the keys. Luckily for the player, Larry's severed head is also affected by the X-ray function on the Helpy Matic. The player would need to scan them and fry their inner hardware. This would cause them to retreat and go back to the body. The player would need to keep up with all these attempts to enter the office. If they can't keep up and get overwhelmed, then they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Larry Longneck would be a great addition to the jolly Jurassic roster of characters. They've definitely got an interesting design, and I think their gameplay mechanics would definitely put the tension on the player. The gameplay mechanic of Larry splitting into two characters would definitely keep the player on their toes. As far as I'm concerned, this would definitely be the animatronic to keep an eye out for. Alrighty everyone, that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Larry Longneck and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, catch you later, bye.